Hello, my name is Youssef, and today I'm going to talk about system tables. But first, let me walk you through the newsletter I developed with Quentin Ambar, mainly known for DB Demos and Demo Center. We've worked together to release this non-official Databricks newsletter, and I really advise you to subscribe to it in order to get the latest features. You see, we've added many categories, BI and data warehousing, governance, machine learning and AI. You will find the latest features with videos, links to documentation, how to get started videos. It's really an interesting way to keep in touch with all the latest features. I will add the link in the description of this video. And now, Let's talk about system tables. System tables are a Databricks hosted analytical store of your account's operational data. And system table can be used for historical observability across your accounts. You have a bunch of system tables available and Databricks keep adding more and more. You have audit logs, which include records of all the audit events across your Databricks accounts. And for example, you can see like notebooks, queries you're writing. You have table in each, which include a record for each read and write event on Unity catalog table or path. You will have the column lineage as well, a billable usage, which is a very, very interesting table you can leverage, which includes records for all billable usage across your accounts. And of course, each usage is an hourly aggregate of resource billable usage. You have the pricing. If you want to get the price of the different SKUs you're using to multiply it with the uh, with the, the SKUs you do have in order to get uh, visibility of what you're consuming when while using Databricks, you can have a list of the clusters you do are creating, which is a slowly changing changing dimension table that contains the full history of cluster configuration over time for any cluster when it was created, when it was deleted. We have the node types, which captures the currently available node types with their basic hardware information. We have the marketplace listings and predictive optimization, which tracks the, hist the operation history of the predictive optimization feature. And as you can see over here, all of them are available in a catalog called system. And then, of course, we have a bunch of different databases. We have access, we have billing, compute, marketplace, storage. And of course, within some schemas, we have multiple tables. Like for access, we have audit, table lineage, columns, and more and more tables are going to be added. But the first question, how can I activate system tables? First of all, you need to be or you need to have a Unity catalog activated on your account and all you need to be uh, an account admin this is very very important once you are an account admin you just need to uh, uh, to run the following curl command so the first one to, to enable this you need to have a token and of course add your workspace uh, id and the Metastore ID. And of course, you need to make sure to add this, the schema name. But the question, how am I going to get all the schema names? It's very easy. You just need to run this first query, which is, again, uh, you need to have the token, the wor uh, workspace ID, and the Metastore ID, and you get the list of all the schemas. And then it will be activated. And I know sometimes can, it's painful. So don't worry, we have the solution for you. You just need to go to Demo Center. And once you are in Demo Center, click on Explore All Demos. And then write down here System. And over here, it's just easy. You can either like uh, install the library DB Demos and then import DB Demos and run this uh this query it will automatically enable uh, system tables for you but also deploy a dashboard an example of dashboards you can have in order to track your costs and this is the example of the dashboard you can for example have the 
the, uh, the DBU spend, DBU spend this month, uh, dollar DBUs next month, the forecast. You can see like the, the number of tables you do have, the number of schemas, the number of catalog, types of percentage of tables created, table, table format, the number of volumes. So this is just an example, but of course you can, uh, you can do more. And if you, you don't want to have this kind of tables, you can just access, click here on view the notebooks. And you have a uh, code over here that I did run here. So this code will automatically get the Metastore ID and it will generate a token. Then it will run this query to get all the name, different name of schemas that we have over here. So we see storage, you will see storage, operational data, access, billing, and it will store them. And then it will run the query to make sure that it activates all the different uh, schemas available. And when it's done, you will have the list of all the uh, in system all the different system tables available. So you can have access, you see audit, column uh, lineage, uh, table lineage, you have the billing. Inside the billing, of course, you can have less price usage. You can have the marketplace, the storage, the, of course, the lineage. And there is uh, uh, more and more, more and more system tables uh, to come. And then the question, how uh, am I gonna, um, how, how am I going to leverage those system tables. So it's very, very easy. You can, for example, just come here and click, for example, on the pricing and you will see the schema, which of course this is something you can find easily uh, on uh, on the on the catalog explorer. So if you click, for example, on usage, you will have the schema, but of course you can have some examples. So for here, it's where we, we're adding some examples, for example, how to find the list of price of particular SKU on a particular date. So can you can just copy paste this query to have uh, this. You can view total cost of everything that's used in a particular, for example, tag. If you are tagging clusters, you can get the cost of uh, this specific, the cost of this specific tag. You can view like uh, price changes. I mean, you have a bunch of then you can do with system tables. For example, if you're using the audit, uh, the audit, I'm talking about the first one. For example, you can find uh, how many people are writing queries, which languages uh, are they using, uh, which command, how long does it take to run all their queries by, by user, uh, how many success did they have, how many failure. Uh, you, can, you can literally do everything. And, and you can, for example, uh, add what we call, for example, um, alerts. You can set up, for example, some budget that you can only spend $200 per day. You can, once this threshold is reached, you can receive an alert. For example, you can, uh, if somehow uh, someone created more than 200 tables, you can reach, you can get uh, an alert. So you can monitor everything inside the platform to make sure uh, everything works well. I mean, this is this is really good way. And how you can use this, you can just go and create a SQL warehouse. And of course, if you can use a serverless one, it's even, uh, it's even better because you can have great performance and, uh, and uh, fast auto termination. And of course, of course, uh, fast startup. So I did create a uh, SQL errors called query. I'm gonna go to the SQL editor. This is just uh, this is just an example. I will go to catalog system. I will select uh, query, and of course, let's go for example to uh, use usage. So select star from. And of course, you can also leverage the assistant to make to to make sure, for example, to write some texts that would be translated to a to a SQL query. So over here, you can see the cost by SKU, uh, by the cloud, the date, first usage, first usage, custom tags, DBU unit, the quantity, and some other metadata. 
if I if I go to for example again to uh to storage you can see the tables that has been optimized or the tables that has been uh vacuumed and to be honest it's a simple way to monitor everything you have inside uh inside the platform and the, over here you can see that for example you did vacuum those tables the operation was successful numbers file deleted uh, uh 76 and this is estimated dbu 0.48 so you can monitor the cost you can monitor for example because you know in unity catalog you you do uh grant permissions for example yousef can access the table customers but you can also audit like when did yousef access the table customers and when did you set table uh, updated this table? So you have the big picture of everything happening inside the platform. I hope it was useful. I will add all the links in the description of uh, the video. Bye.